Okay, let's talk about the battle, the battle of the sexes. You have Alice and Bob, and the payoffs are going to be uh, something like four, three, zero, seven. And for Bob, this is going to be symmetric seven, three, zero, four. And the actions are going to be uh, game and show and similarly for alice uh, game and show and the story is that alice and bob they like each other now uh, but alice you know this is a uh, let's say it's before mobile phones and they uh they're both trying to decide where to go tonight and they're you know separate places and uh so that's alice i guess bob is red um, and they have to decide where they're going to go to the game or the show. And again, they can't communicate with each other. They just have to show up. So they both, they would both like to be with each other, but Bob, he, uh, he likes, uh, the game, right? He likes to go see the game and Alice, she wants to see the show more than the game. However, they would still rather be together than separate. And so these are the payoffs, right? So you see if Alice goes to the game, Bob goes to the game, Alice gets seven and Bob gets, I mean, sorry, Alice gets four, Bob gets seven, Bob gets the most because he's at the game and with Alice. Um, and uh, over here, you have this other one where they go both go to the show. And in that case, Alice gets the seven, Bob gets the four. If they both, this square over here, they both go to the one they like, but now they're separate because Alice is at the show and Bob is at the game. Uh, they both get three because, hey, at least they got to see the show or the game. And over here, they, they go to the exact opposite of what they like and they get zero. Um, so let's look at what are the equilibrium solutions. So first, we have the social welfare solution. Remember, that is the sum of everybody's utility. So in this case, you know, again, you can see clearly there's two boxes that have the maximum sum. This one and this one over here, they add up to 11. So we have, uh, you know, game, game and show, show are both uh, social welfare solutions, you know, tied. Um, Pareto. Remember, the Pareto solution is one such that there is no other solution where one does better, nobody does worse. If you look at zero, zero, clearly that's not right because hey, everybody does better anywhere else. Three, three also, if you go up to here, everybody does better. Uh, but you still have these two here. If you are here, uh, this one over here, you know, if you were to move to this one over here, um, uh, Alice does better, but, but Bob does worse and vice versa the other way so both of them both gg and ss are pareto optimal solutions and nash what about nash so let's start with zero zero here if bob goes to the show clearly alice will rather go i mean yeah bob goes to the show clearly alice will go to the show, so that one moves here, so that's not Nash. Uh, similarly down here, uh, if Bob is going to the game, then Alice will go to the game. It'll be here. Uh, so this is not a Nash equilibrium. What about this one? Uh, GG, if they're both here, if Bob is going to the game, uh, then clearly Alice, you know, she has three three or four, so she's going to go with the four. She's going to go to the game also. Similarly, if Alice is going to the game, uh, Bob is looking at either seven or zero, so clearly seven is better, so Bob is going to go to the game. So this is a Nash equilibrium, right? So you see, they're all the same, right? So in this, this is on like the previous example. In this scenario, the social welfare, the Pareto solution, the Nash equilibrium, they're all the same. They're all these two. And this is uh, the, the reason this game is important is because it is really uh, 
standard coordination problem, right? So, and you can see the problem, the coordination problem, and these two fellows here are facing. Um, they, you know, they have to coordinate. They have two do two solutions that are both equally good. They're awesome, right? Their social welfare provide optimal natural equilibrium. And because of that, though, it's really hard, uh, you know, without, you know, obviously the mobile phone, uh, without some sort of third party to coordinate, right? So, again, this is this type of situation you often see in multi agent systems uh, where you have this coordination problems where two agents uh, need to coordinate. And when you find them, then you need to go back and usually find ways to you know, externally achieve some sort of coordination uh, if changing the payoffs is impossible. So that's the battle of the sexes.